Effects of temperature and pressure on matter. Both temperature and pressure have certain effects on states of matter. The kinetic theory of matter states that matter is composed of a large number of small particles that are in constant motion. The theory also explains the effect of pressure and temperature on states of matter. Temperature causes change in states of matter. As temperature increases, heat is absorbed in the form of energy. The kinetic energy of the molecules of a solid increases on absorption of heat and they begin to vibrate with larger amplitude. When a fast-moving particle collides with a slower-moving particle, it transfers some of its energy to the slower-moving particle, thereby increasing the speed of the slow-moving particle. As high energy or high heat slowly diffuses across the material, the molecules of the solid break free the intermolecular forces. Gradually, there is a phase change from solid to liquid. The temperature at which a solid changes to liquid state at one atmosphere pressure is called its melting point. If heat is supplied further, the kinetic energy of the composite particles of the liquid increases and the molecules start to vibrate more energetically. When the molecules gain enough energy, they start escaping from the surface of the liquid by a process called evaporation. With an increase in temperature, the liquid starts to boil. The temperature at which a liquid boils at one atmosphere pressure is called boiling point. Thus, the kinetic theory of matter explains that with an increase in temperature, matter changes from solid to liquid to gas. Similarly, with a decrease in temperature, matter changes from its gaseous state to liquid and then gradually to its solid state. However, there are certain substances that change directly from solid to gas or vice versa. This phenomenon is called sublimation. Example, camphor. Sublimation is the transition of a substance directly from its solid to gaseous phase without passing through the intermediate liquid phase. During the phase change from solid to liquid and from liquid to gas, there is no temperature change though heat is continuously absorbed. Latent heat is the energy released or absorbed by a body during a constant temperature process. Two of the more familiar forms of latent heat are latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization.
Latent heat of fusion is the energy change when a given substance is heated to change its state from solid to liquid. The temperature at which this occurs is the melting point. Latent heat of vaporization is the energy change required to transform a given quantity of a substance from liquid to gas at a given pressure. The effect of pressure is negligible on solids, more on liquids and the most on gases. When pressure is applied on a container of gas, the gas particles come closer to each other. This reduces the kinetic energy of the particles. When pressure is increased further, the gas particles come very close to each other and consequently get converted to liquid. Change in pressure also causes change in the temperature at which a material transforms from one state to another. So, if pressure is greater, higher temperature is needed to change the state of the material. By increasing the pressure, carbon dioxide can be changed to solid. Solid carbon dioxide is known as dry ice. By increasing the pressure and decreasing the temperature, air can also be liquefied. The pressure of air particles present in the atmosphere is called atmospheric pressure. The different units of pressure are Pascal, Bar and Tor. Pressure also affects the melting point of substances. Most substances expand when they melt. An increase of pressure delays the melting of these substances. In some substances, the melting point increases with an increase in pressure.